If you zoom into the Arctic regions of Scandinavia and Russia, you'll notice these speckles of blue littering the landscape. Each one of these spots is a lake, but not the kind you're probably thinking of. These lakes are alive, expanding, collapsing, shrinking, changing the landscape of the Arctic in real time. And the real reason behind them is underground. Beneath much of the Arctic lies permafrost, ground that stays frozen for at least a couple of years, or in some instances, thousands. It's not just frozen soil, it's a mixture of rock, ice, organic matter, like a freezer full of carbon sealed from the last ice age. But that freezer, it's starting to melt. Each one of these circular depressions is evidence of such events. See, when ice-rich permafrost thaws, it starts to destabilize the soil, creating a depression as it sinks. Water from the melting ice pools into these depressions, creating these lakes. These are called thermocasks. And as the lake forms, the darker water absorbs more heat from the atmosphere than it does from the tundra surrounding it. That warmth seeps into the soil, stopping it from refreezing, creating what scientists call a talic, a pocket of unfrozen ground that acts like a heat reservoir. The result, more thawing, more collapsing, hence the ever-changing landscape. Some double in size in mere decades. Others drain away by the ice walls breaking down or the water going into the ground because it's defrosted. But there is a hidden danger with all this thawing. The organic carbon matter that was once frozen is now exposed to the atmosphere. This means it's exposed to microbes, which break it down, releasing carbon dioxide and methane, very powerful potent gases. In other words, the thawing Arctic isn't just a symptom of climate change, it also propels it. The Arctic is one of the fastest warming areas on the planet, and these thermocasks are a symptom and a warning.